Welcome back everybody. It's time to get back into a package opening with some Crazy Bones. We haven't done a package opening for Crazy Bones in a while, but I happened to snag a little lot of Crazy Bones on eBay a few weeks ago, so that just came in the mail and I wanted to check them out with you guys. Seems like it's a pretty good lot. It's got some miscellaneous figures, some new generations, some of the monster ones, some of the ghost ones, so maybe we'll get lucky, we'll find an evil eggy, that'd be pretty sick. Picture only showed a big pile of stuff, so you could only see so many, so I'm hoping maybe we'll find a few surprises. If you enjoy the video and you're a fan of Crazy Bones, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We've got more Crazy Bone content coming your way very soon. Let's get into the package. All right, here is the package. It, man, from the sound of the box, I don't even know if they like wrapped anything. They sound like they're just floating in here. Uh, so let's see. Okay, it is in some type of plasticness, but very, very loose, which is kind of bummer. Pack them a little bit better so they don't bang themselves up in shipping. Oh, well, there we go. I think there's like 90 figures in here or something like that. I'm seeing a lot of really cool, interesting colors from New Generation. It's going to be a lot of fun to check those out. But let's see. We get a closer view now. We will dump them all out and we will start kind of sorting and seeing what we got. Straight away, I mean, this lot was just New Generation stock full. I mean, come on, look at that. He looks sick. Good condition too, not too like banged up or anything like that. Pretty clean. Oh, this guy's cool. I like this guy a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is a nice mold. I haven't truly appreciated you. I believe I have you already, but in this nice gray, everything really pops out quite nicely. Who else do we have here? You are confusing. You got like two mouths. You're like grinning and then ready to eat something on the bottom. Interesting. It looks like we've got a things. It wouldn't be a classic eBay lot without some type of things drop in here. We got a few of them. Uh, looks like we got some buddies, our little strong man here from buddies. Mutants, of course. We got the classic mutants teacher pet here. This guy's hilarious. Always a pleasure to get some more mutants. Oh, this guy reminded me of Vampy from Mutants actually quite a bit, but it is a new gen little vampire whatever, I don't know, creature. I love the creature designs from new gen. They're so neat. I mean, come on, look at this. That is sick looking. I love the eyes and everything on that. That looks really good. What else we got? What else we got? Let's kind of just separate out some of the other figures. Mutant sports, of course. No crazy colors there. I don't see any like jellies really in this lot. Another one scared, scaredy here from mutants. A little clock from things. Oh, we found a ghost. Very nice. A clean looking kind of pastel -y purple ghost. I have a bunch of this character though, so not quite what we want to see here. We got to dig around. We got to see if we can find that evil egg. Ooh, you're cool. I don't think I have you. That is an interesting figure. He's got bone in his mouth. That is really, really unique. Interesting. 41? Okay, okay. Oh, there was like crap in the back. Oh man, it's getting everything messy. I'm just gonna start setting up our new gen and ghost guys here in the background. The mutants and the things I'm not worried about, we're not gonna stand those up. Just the nice ghosties and the nice new gens. Look at that clean little yellow. This one's not quite a jelly, but it's kind of that opaque color. Opera, maybe, I think is what you're called from the ghost ones. It's interesting. Okay, okay. What else we got here? We got like this purple. Oh, uh, yeah, he's got like the cloak. He's like the flash. It looks like he's about to flash someone with a trench coat or something. It's really weird. Bizarre figure. Uh, Buddies, the clown from Buddies. Classic figure. He's got a good feel to him, even though I'm not a huge fan of the mold. Ooh, you are clean. That is a really, really sharp figure. Oh, yeah. Number four. Oh, he's got booty on him. Oh, he's got a thick boy booty on him. Oh my goodness, dude. Chill out. Look at this one. This is an interesting ghost. It's a very, very light pink. Not quite opaque, but it kind of gives the appearance of opaque, but it's not. It's really not. It's just like very, very light pink. It's interesting, but I dig it. I dig it. This is a clean one. All right, let's get rid of some of the other buddies and sports. We'll go through them really quick. What else we got? Another teacher's pet from mutants. Bada bing, bada boom, more things. It's easy to separate these guys because all the things and sports and stuff like that, they're all quite a bit smaller than the new gen, so... Makes it easy to just kind of pull him out. Oh, oh, I found the missing piece to this guy. That's hilarious. I was going to mention he has a broken little piece. And see, that's probably from shipping. Probably wasn't broken before shipping and just getting banged around in that 
crappy little bag all loose completely decimated him. Dang. Another sports, another mutant. Who do we got here? We got Frank. Oh, no, we got this guy. The little bozo clown mustache man pedo dude. Oh, I found a hot pink vampy. I don't think I have a hot pink version of him. That's kind of nice. Oh, we did find our nice eggy ghost though. Eggy ghost here, little dirty, kind of scuffed up a little bit. Might have to clean him off, but he is a whistler. Check out that hole in his mouth right past his tongue. Very sharp. Ew, it looks like you poop on him. Ew, ew. That's gross. Ugh, gross. I gotta like disinfect all these, man. This is a cool figure too. I love these like kind of like off grays. They make their the molds look really, really sharp. Like really sharp. Oh, I have you. I just got you recently. I think in the last ghost video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. That was a Halloween theme video. Very, very fun. Look at this grinning bad boy. He is awesome i love that who else we got here we got a purple boy oh i remember you i've got a couple of you but this is a very nice purple i just want to find that evil eggy come on now Ooh. oh it's this guy again but in red sharp oh i think i have this exact same color it's kind of this like glittery metallic-y blue of this figure it's very cool though i like him oh look at that the numbers printed on his face it must be an error no it's not it's double faced it's our two-faced monster man from new gen very very cool figure he's fun and it's in that hot pink which i kind of dig i kind of dig getting those nice bright vibrant colors this is a buddy's guy not new gen uh this is a buddy's guy not new gen but he's cool i dig him a lot he reminds me of like the aliens the classic alien monster guys he should have been involved so somewhere along the line but he wasn't this is goodness this is one of the forgetting the name the bouncers or whatever the flingers gosh what are you called slammers or something like that it's uh from one of the other series there's only like six or seven figures i think i've got i opened up like a bajillion of these guys the other time on a video uh so i don't need any more of them but that's okay that's a one-off we still got more new gen here some clean ones that i just don't have super super good nice shiny red again too have him but not in this red who do we got here oh he's like he's like he's like drooling or licking or something that's funny interesting man gotta i love appreciating seeing new new gen figures i kind of like don't look at the page and familiarize myself with them because i just love being impressed by the cool creativeness of how they did the molds for this series it's really unique it's really fun they got such goofy, wacky faces. It's so cool. Another buddy's here making an appearance, the snake dude. Not a big deal. We've got a ghost, the little silly ghost, the little <laughs> silly ghost. And we got a split tongue, crazy looking monster man. That is funny. <laughs> I haven't seen that. I, I might have him actually. He looks like one I would have and just forgot about, but it's okay. We got the ghost wish and in it is a really, really shiny bright vibrant lime green that is really nice i dig that lime green it's almost like that pink one that's kind of like opaque but not opaque it's just that shiny i have you you're fun who do we have here we got a ghost in that like metallic -y blue glitter we got the sweetie ghost kind of thing very nice what else we got here oh split tongue again in that nice yellow it's kind of a weird yellow we got another one of this yellow um, it was one of the ghost ones. It's kind of like this weird, like mustard yellow. I don't know if I'm a fan, but we do get another lime green. This guy looks like a frog. You got a third leg growing right between your other two legs. Are you sure about that? Are we sure that we went with this design here, Magic Box? Come on now. That's a little, uh, it's a little suspect, you know? I love this guy though. Oh my gosh. He looks so cool. A little Cyclops kind of thing, except he's got not just one eye. He's got six eyes. It's, uh, it's cool, but the, the other eyes kind of looks like he has like hair rolls in his hair or something. So he kind of still looks like a Cyclops to me. Ah, uh, you. Uh, we got you in the beginning. You're one of the first ones we pulled. Actually, we got another green one. So we got two separate greeny boys. One's a more vibrant limey green and one's like a duller pastel -y green. Interesting. Oh, and actually I just spotted him. This is the exact duplicate of the one I just showed. So now we got three of these guys. We don't need any more. That's enough. Who else we got here? We've got, ooh, the mighty, mighty man. Ooh, he's roaring or ripping his chest apart. I don't know what he's doing. He's cool though. I haven't seen him. Ah, this one. Yep. I've got a lot of him. I do have a lot of him. He's cool. I dig his vibe. And this is actually a really unique color. It's like that pastel purple. It's really clean. I dig it. I dig it. We got a ghost. Is this a ghosty? It is Goofy Goober. 
look at you. I've got several of him, so not one that I need. And this is a ghost as well. Not one I need, but this is like, it looks like a teapot. It just does. I think it's like chubby or something, chubby ghost, but he's in that gray. Not a big deal. I don't think I have him in gray. Who do we got here? He's like praying. He's like, oh, please help me. Save me from all these other mutants that are surrounding me right now with their split tooth tongue nonsense and weird little third leg appendages. Oh, come on, evil eggy. I'm trying not to look at the stack of, of stuff going on over here, you know, so I can be genuinely surprised, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't see him yet. You know, we got this little poop on all these guys. Ew, it's like that gross dirt. Ew. I don't even want to comment on you because it's just nasty. We're going to put you all the way in the back. Okay, I am spotting a couple more of these slammer dudes or whatever. Ugh, why am I losing my mind? I can't remember what they're called. Obviously, I would have put it in the video by now, but you get it. This is also part of that series. They're very thin, you know, and uh, some of them have unique looks. Some of them are just meh. Yeah, they're just okay for me. But like I said, I've got like so many of these now, so it's ridiculous. All right, what do we got here? Oh, this is the guy that we didn't want to comment on, but now we have it in that light pink and it's not as dirty. So very nice. Look at that. We can look at his little like crazy teeth here. Interesting. Now this ghost, I got to see if I have. I'm sure I do because I'm only missing a few, but he doesn't look super familiar to me. He's very cool though. Very round and wavy. Who do we have here? A sports guy? Yeah, the commissioner. Commissioner boy. Yeah, that's fine. We got another thing that slipped its way in. Oh, it's a whistler though. It's a whistler pencil. Interesting. And we also got the poet, I believe, if you don't know it. I think I have that right. Ghost poet man. He's all right. I've got a bajillion of him too in like multiple sizes from like the Italian ghost series and the new gen ones. He's neat. I like his little loop-de-loop -loop little tentacles thingies. He's kind of like lychee vibes in that light pink too. Very nice. All right, what do we got here? We got this guy. It also looks like his little tentacle things on his head. His horns look like hair, which is funny. These yellows are hard to see on the camera, honestly. They are very, very reflective. We only have a few more left, but we got our little flashing man here. He's about to whip something out again. And we've got, oh, our little, oh, see, this one only has five eyes, but it's kind of the same as that other one that we just commented on that had like the curlers in his hair and looks like a cyclops. This one also looks like a cyclops to me. A little less so because the eyes eyes are all the same size at least so i'll give credit to that put him by the other one ah this guy yep i've got him in a nice silver little glittery metallic -y silver he's cool he looks very mayan to me in nature it kind of gives those vibes uh we found uh, another little mutant boy he's a classic and who do we got here oh mr joe mr low joe hanging with the crazy open third eye on his head. He's about to psych attack you. Mm, another flasher in a purple, although this purple, man, we've gotten so many of like duplicate colors, which is kind of crazy. Two of these purples and one of this purple. Interesting. We had that same thing with that green one. Oh, nice. We got our little dino buddy. I love him. He's so cool. I just like it. He's got a good vibe. He's got a good like character to him and it's well designed. I dig it. I dig it a lot. What do we got? Oh, we got a whistler. Oh, that's a heavy whistler. It's like the cool dude ghost man. He's got the glasses. He's ready to go. And he's got a giant, giant hole drilled through his mouth. Holy frick. Crazy. I'm not seeing Aggie, but we're not done yet. Oh, I've seen you a bunch. I don't need to go over you anymore. You, you've just been in like every single ghost video I've ever done. So there's this guy. We saw him. This is a good lot, man. I like all these colors. It's a bummer there wasn't more like jellies and stuff like that. Oh, you are weird. I haven't seen you before. You got a thick boy nose. That is cool. It would have been nice to have a few jellies because you guys know I'm privy to the jellies, but it's okay. We got the praying guy again. You can see him a little bit more clearly in this one. Sharp, very sharp. It's like a light blue glitter one. Interesting. And we've got the Goober Meister. The Meister Goober. I don't know. He's so funny to me. He's like got these huge and big eyes and big i don't know and he's got like a good size to him too he's not giant he's kind of more the like mainstay crazy bone size which i dig but we also got the, this one's kind of a semi whistler ghost that's interesting look how clean the grays look the grays look so clean it's kind of nice I like it. F38, there you go. Oh, the pumpkin poi in a nice glistening yellow. Ah, I don't mind getting multiple of him. He's super cool. I do have a bunch, but not of this yellow. So gladly take this one. That is really cool. We got another one of these yellows. I think this is the last one like this yellow. He is a wild one. I do have him from new gen. He's got like crazy eyes on his head, but 
It's kind of hard to see and pick up on, but there you go. He's neat. All right, we've only got a few left. Look at that grin and dino not dinosaur. I was about to say dinosaur. I don't know why, but another glittery light blue. He looks really nice, really, really nice like that. And, uh-oh, oh, what happened to your nose? Why does it look like your nose came off? Whoa. What the? Oh, you're another Two-Face guy. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize there were m multiple of him. That's wild. Look at that. So that should have been the stamp. Whoa. Wait a second. Hold on. That should be where the stamp goes, but the stamp is on his crotch. For some reason, the stamp is on his crotch. The Magic Box toys, and then the number is on his crotch. I wonder if that's how they all are. So let me know in the comments if that's how they're all set up, or if, like, I have a misprint. This could be a misprint, because it looks like they straight up missed where they were supposed to do the stamp. Should be right there, I feel like. that That's very clearly a circle where it should go. Nonetheless, I, I didn't know there was another multi-face one in New Gen like this. It's like a smaller version almost, but he's cool. This side sucks. This side is lit. That's a cool side. All right, we got one more, and it is a new little color here. No, not new. We already got them. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. We got this one. That's the one that reminded me of Vampy, actually. So there we go. Bang, a bunch of new gens. Got these at a pretty good price, all things considered. eBay right now is wild. I haven't bought a lot because I haven't had extra funds to do so. And eBay is just wild in with Crazy Bone prices. Buyers, beware, please. I, I, people ask me all the time where to get Crazy Bones. I do recommend eBay. It's where I get a lot of my stuff. It's just a good source to get deals sometimes, but you got to be careful. There are a lot of people overpricing these guys tremendously, tremendously. So don't get ripped off. <laughs> these guys should be a lot cheaper right now. There's been a lot of inflation over the last few years through COVID and stuff and a huge resurgence of the Crazy Bone community. A lot of new fans, a lot of new people coming back into the fold, getting Crazy Bones, buying again. Prices are going up. So just be careful. Uh, make sure you look for good deals. Shop around. Look at the, what I recommend to everyone too, is just look at like the sold section for Crazy Bones. Kind of get a range of what you're looking for. If you're trying to buy mutants, look at the sold area for mutants. See what prices things are typically going for. And then maybe try to, in your mind, bring that price down a little bit and try to find deals that are a little bit lower than those even sometimes. Uh, so just be careful. Be careful. Some series are more expensive than others. Obviously, like the Alien series is through the roof right now. The Classic series is going up too, uh, unfortunately, because I love the Classic series. Uh, but if you're seeing Series 1 from the new stuff, the Series 2, and they're super expensive, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Get a good deal. Save your dime and find these guys at a good price. You can find them at a good price. You just got to stay on top of it, basically, is what I tell people. Always shop around and stay on top of like the new listings and stuff, and you'll find things. But also, if you haven't yet, I haven't really plugged this a lot on the channel either, and now I'm just talking, uh, but the Crazy Bone Discord. I'm going to leave... Uh, well, what I'll say is the link expires, I guess, so hit me up on Instagram if you want to join the Crazy Bone Discord. A lot of our fan members are in there, uh, always chatting, talking doing trades, sellings, doing stuff on there as well. So there's many people in that community that can help you out there too. It's a really great place. A lot of great people. They're so filled with information there. It's ridiculous too. I'm terrible with information with these guys, as I'm sure some of you know. <laughs> I don't retain it very well, uh, but those guys are just, they're great. So make sure to go uh, get a link from me or something and stay tuned for more of these guys and don't get scammed on eBay basically. That's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the package opening video. If you want to see more Crazy Bones, leave a comment down below with what series you want to see next. Have a great rest of the week, and we will see you guys in the next video.